Shay Josie McDermott, if you shines out of blue to vice we have it all night, at Kerbe. To my job, will you the dash it east? Smartosha the fighter Aramsa. Tasha the fighter Artsa. Will you hear? Toss on your pot, not brushing the chass and shot, a pan of tart could you cook in the king's about? Oh, why not a quick and deep? Jacob, <laughs> 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 of nature. It's naturally a source of protein, vitamin B12 and calcium. Get the power of milk on your side. Today I'm making fajitas for the family, old El Paso style. The smoky barbecue blend brings flavors together in perfect harmony, like family coming together and pretending nobody threw anybody off the balcony. All the slicing and cutting, it makes me feel at peace. It takes the right dish to get the family together. So make the most of it. Because as we say in Old El Paso, together is bueno. Get your hands on Danone Activia's new look pot. Now also in three delicious summer special editions. Activia, TLC for tummies. Mm. Choose fresh savings at Lidl. Grab a block of our Valley Spire Mature White Cheddar, now 30% cheaper, and save one euro on our Inishmara Mackerel Fillets. A great catch this week. Choose to fill your trolley for less. Choose Lidl. Shay Josie McDermott, who is a shenan mid of loot, a vice be habitolinish at Kerbe, by Matt Malloy, and as Michael Turbardy, la fecal at a glor chama. Ma hain tu an varug vor, tots de flachischen schuld in ihr huschkar konnte, an art aus er faske, quit des ne flutedori is far de rau an rief. De hedi jama kenne, shemes tanzi, agus dar noil, mat moloi. Wul mische an boher, sir o huig, de irt ienof, atne nis far, a chor ergine, a will a quid kjol, kluste, gemion minikigum. Dinne dem vor kjol tori na hache, shae, agus tame tage, quiga old duchis, de eile mak dirk. Kerbe A. Josie McDermott. Lot Lech Machus and Mach Samisha. Ach in no gin. Beyond Sim Gum Egoni, a kyol on counter shell. Tushka Vorme alarmed the McQuick Kyol Fane on a horse, and saw a flu star Schligger, John Egan. The story of Matham Savalian shop Morkyolter, a counter Ligig, Liatme, August Rust Combine, Tushka Isha, Creelor, and Kyol Ern Vadogvor, August Josie McDermott, Larnock Doshin. Hani Crosi er en sæl, som blev en melanægget for hans kuig. En art cool men er bare en art, og så tager cool men i grund af slægge. Og nilsjer er koblet mellem slæ og balifarnen, og så balifarnen er i grund af roskeman, så vi ser adren adren der art. Derhen går også et skønt en stil art til en stil, hvor bundtigel er roskeman hui, og så kan det lidt som bedre hårdt end end sådan. Vi ser et skønt en en stil. Artul. 
but we must in hand we we ready for the again. By the night, we have a good word as we call it hard. Dinna go vil atna na mlianta agar, er Josie, is a Horson Martin Sweeney. Chor atna er agus e in a ladog. I recall coming to where he lived here with his mother. Things were tough now, they were poor really. But uh, all the neighbours in this area were, the, like, they were extremely generous towards Joseph. He was capable of um, holding down work if he could get it, even though his eyesight had always been poorer like. And if Josie was in with a group of people, he could manage his he would have vague eyesight but uh, he really it deteriorated extremely badly uh, in around 1963 shortly after his mother died he got dermatitis or eczema on the face and when that recovered his eyesight was extremely poor then uh, he could uh, only discern light and darkness So the whole story is in Vadogvor, which is Tommy Guihin and Patsy Hanley. And it's only part of the story that we've got to Josie McDermott and got to him. We've got a bird on the floor and we've got a bird on the floor and we've got a bird on the floor. He was always anxious to help everybody and he spent all his time helping people. He was so helpful to other people that you'd nearly forget that he was blind and that you should be helping him. He was conscientious about his blindness as well. I think Joseph would have liked to have taken a drink. He didn't drink. But I think he knew that if he did take a drink that is uh, on account of his blindness that he could be a nuisance to other people. Or, or, or he thought that he would. No, I never... I, I wouldn't think so. But I think no. that's that was on his mind. No, but when you'd even walk with Josie, you know, he wouldn't catch a hold of it, really. He'd walk shoulder to shoulder, you know, if he could. He wouldn't... He tried to keep the blindness sort of out out of the picture if he could. And if you saw Josie and myself walking up the floor, he'd be just shoulder to shoulder and you wouldn't even know Harley he was blind. Bua a V egg Josie, no, Nivak she waits in a wimsa, a hen uncle and dalia. Mar chapam hen, go honishair tishkent, go honishair rayer cogus or avark, er a seal, not make a akro aspa avark air. Our Ether Matt Malloy, our Gwyneth Dustin Kyoltori is far the Rowell and Reeve Ern Vadogvor. But Vinnick Agus A in Oiga, a Hainshe Exession, the Josie McDermott. Weekends, when I was working in Dublin, I used to tra travel home because I'm from Balhadrain and uh, my parents were alive at the time. But I used to uh, call in on, on, on Friday evening, throw the bag of dirty laundry there, and, and drive down to Dominic Cosgrove's pub in Boyle. There were times that you'd find five, six flute players. Uh, and then on occasion you'd have um, Tommy Flynn, because he used to play fiddle He's from Loch Arrow. And he used to play quite a bit with Josie as a fiddle and flute duet. Well, we must have played for over 30 years together anyway. Well, I think we played most counties except Cork. I don't think we ever played together in Cork, no, but we played at concerts down the north in nearly every county. Most places now we'd have arrangements, you know, with somebody that would be going in a care or we'd be getting a lift somewhere or another. Mm -hmm. But uh, as it happened, we were... We thought we'd have no trouble when we heard about all the people that was getting thumbing to Dublin and all sorts of things. Now, we were at something in Dublin one time and we decided that we'd thumb home for a bit of crack. And I had a return ticket on the train, but we walked as far as Minutes and got a lift in the lorry then and it took us about five hours to come home. I walked from Boyle home. Be a quid kyol agus a quid shemant a harang ma quid ard a dro Josie McDermott a dosach. Ach da veil is a lanam le ma quid fisrhe 
August of Ved, a Lorem Lenequid Corja is Corson. The Saulic is Mo a Higgum, grow a Vodney Smoa Gest, Eshin Varsho, no more a Higme. Ma in Mermingham Hassana, a Hula Catherine McAvoy, Joyce McDermott, August E and a Colleen Oag. Josie was such a unique person, a unique musician. I would have classed him as a bard. Obviously, when I was younger, I didn't really understand the whole, the whole concept. But looking back now, I can see that, I mean, he was a composer. He was a musician. He played the flute. He played the saxophone. He was a singer. I mean, he was just an all-round... Uh, you know, he composed songs as well as, as uh, fast tunes, traditional tunes. So he, he was unique. <laughs> The first instrument I got was a trumpet. And I put all the cattle and dogs and everything made about the place when I brought back and my mother chased me out of the house altogether. So James Flynn then, uh, he used to play a bit on the saxophone. Um, I taught myself how to play the sax, but he taught me how to read music. And after that, I had to learn when I went playing the saxophone, I had to learn something about music. I'd have heard recordings of Josie uh, as a flute player and a singer, but uh, it wasn't until um, I started playing the saxophone and I, I did remember that Josie played the sax, so I, I, I kind of investigated a bit more and I got a few recordings of Josie playing saxophone in, in, in house parties. Um, but he was a very, 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 very lovely player, on the, as well as a show bandy sort of style as well, like he'd do all the, the waltzes, quick, you know, quick steps and all that sort of thing, you know? Or Hultor, Sha is far Atna or Joe Smackdermot. Or Rudnach Mega is a Glordini, no will PC Kol Untka Schriefrige Koma. Critical a fee a Hemant Lefadagum, Achnakor Isagum, Gorbe Josie Schrievid, Gudigor Husigme, or Andoriacha. One of the tunes that he composed, uh, I have it on my first solo album. I just called it Josie McDermott's. <laughs> I took these away out. I think, it, I, think he call, I think I heard afterwards he called it The Trip to Birmingham. I remember on one of Josie's trips to Birmingham, actually, he, he was invited over for a cultist dinner. I think the, the Birmingham airport was fog-bound so that the plane had to be diverted to, uh, to London. And they ended up having to get a, a, a taxi from London. And on the way, Josie composed the tune, Trip to Birmingham. The learned men who used the pen and wrote the praises high must have forgot the beauty spot that in North Roscommon lay. They overlooked Loch Melia's wooded banks and killed Ronan's lovely dell. And they keyed your mountains looking down on Lasser's holy well. Josie was possibly the first and biggest influence on my singing. That's the first time I had heard ornamentation being used in traditional singing. It was the richness in his tone, the tone that he had in his voice, uh, and that was quite clear in his recordings. Oh, it comes across very much in Dar Darby's Farewell. Um, yes. Mor Morlock Mary, his version of Morlock Mary, yeah. is absolutely beautiful. Well, I wouldn't be fit for Morlock Mary. I'd have to leave that to the master himself, I'm afraid, now. Would you, would you sing us a song? Would you reverse it? Well, I could give you a couple of verses. Um, uh, I heard uh, Josie singing this song in Ballyfarnan, um, O'Reilly from the County Leitrim. Now, it's a bit long, it's a short in the winter, but I'll sing a bit of it for you. When first I came unto this country, 
It was to view the sweet flowers gay. I fell in love with a pretty fair maiden. She appeared to me like the flowers of May. I asked her kindly if she would marry, and if she would choose to be a sailor's wife. Oh, no. Kind sir, I would rather tarry and choose to live the sweet single life. Want broadband speed that's second to, well, none? Now UPC gives you 50 meg fibre power broadband as standard. It's totally unlimited, so you can all do more online, all at the same time. The best of everything comes in a UPC bundle. 50 meg fibre power broadband, TV with on demand and home phone for an amazing 50 euro a month. That's faster and better value than everyone else, including Sky. Switch and save today at upc.ie. You give your kids milk for healthy growth with calcium for strong bones and teeth. But they also need vitamin D to absorb calcium. Just one glass of Avonmore Super Milk a day gives them all the vitamin D they need. Avonmore Super Milk. Let your little heroes shine. Get your hands on Danone Activia's new look pot. Now also in three delicious summer special editions. Activia. TLC for tummies. Mm. This changes everything. E-Fibre, unlimited super fast fibre broadband from Aircom is here. With speeds of up to 70 meg, your family can connect effortlessly all at the same time and faster than ever before. Better still, all Aircom customers can upgrade to E-Fibre for free. It's time to bring your home together. Call 1-800-503-303. E-Fibre from Aircom. Life changing. What I would do as a Tesco cheese buyer, I would sit down with a cheesemaker and we talk about the ripening of the cheese. So Tesco customers get to taste the cheese at its very, very best. To get them to grow bigger and better and tasting better, you have to have the right soil texture. That's how we make sure our potatoes are of exceptional quality. We age all of our steaks for minimum 21 days to give it its maximum flavour and tenderness. It's all Irish. This is something we stand over and we're very proud of. Taste our commitment to the best of fresh and Irish. Tesco, homegrown in Ireland, it's a natural obsession. All the goodness of Avonmore Supermilk. Now with the full taste of whole milk. Introducing Avonmore Whole Super Milk. Did Josie ever marry? No, no, Josie never married. I mean, Josie would have had all the emotions of any uh, human being, and he would have been a lonely man in his lonely time. But the way he handled or dealt with that then in later lives, he would either he take out the tin whistle and try and compose some, something. He made himself very busy. The first time I met Josie was over at the Conor Fla in Drumshambo, somewhere in the mid-70s, as far as I can remember. I actually was competing that day in the Lilton competition, and I had heard Josie's version of The Collier's Reel, and I can remember it well after coming down I met him and he said to me, fair play to you, you'd made a good job of it and you were listening to me. And uh, he was very encouraging. From that time on, I had uh, 
great admiration for the man. It was the first time I had met him. And uh, he had, um, I think, two young girls with him on the day, and they were competing as well. One of them was Brenda Sweeney. He had been coaching them and uh, they were in the singing competition as well. And, uh, I thought he was a real father figure. I think how it started at all was Brenda Sweeney down here, down the field. She, uh, she was learning at school. And I had her playing down in the house, and I said, if you come up, that I'd learn her a tune, and she found out that she was very good. She began to have a, get onto the reels and jigs very quick, and then there was another friend of hers, Amara Dunner, all across the fields, not too far away from here either, and that's how it started, so there was a few more then. So I could have an awful big class on it. I was asked to do class several classes, but I wouldn't take it on. Like, so anybody that, if they knew how to play and had a little knowledge, I'd learn them then after that, but I just couldn't have the patience to start them off from the beginning. Now, that wasn't too bad now, but I thought I heard a little squeak there now, so you want to watch that you don't overblow the top notes. Don Brenda Sweeney, Leshen Kjol, Morgan, Ir Galta, Ella de Quid Josie, May Baxter, Augusta Agion, Augusta Mass, or Josie, Le Brashtent, Goloider Fos. It was very important to him to get the tune correct. It was always his opinion you do the job and you do it right, or else don't bother coming to him at all. So if you hadn't practiced the tune, you wouldn't get another tune. So he was meticulous about that because he always felt that. And the person that um, wrote the tune in the beginning, that you should respect that person and that you should play the tune the way it was written. There's an awful lot of good play, very good players now, young players, an awful lot. But, but I don't like the way that they're inclined to change the tunes, you know. I'd prefer if they'd compose a tune. If they want to do some, get a tune or do their own thing with a tune, let them compose a tune. But. I, I, I'm afraid that they'll spoil a lot of good old tunes. You know, that if if they're allowed to do these things and get away with it, it flares. You know, that, that those old tunes are going, and settings are, the old versions are going to be lost. In 1984, Josie was invited out to Philadelphia to a music festival. And he asked me to accompany him with him. Robin Heitch was the name of the man that invited us out there. I was only 17 at the time and had never been out of the country, so obviously when I arrived in the airport, it was very intimidating, so I said to Josie, you know, sure, we don't know what this man looks like and we're, how are we going to ever find him and how is he going to find us? So Josie says, well, I know a way. So put down the, the cases and the luggage and took out the to whistle and started playing this tune. And of course, I was mortified. <laughs> but... Um, well, within a few minutes, Robin came. He said there could be no one else playing a tune in New York Airport, only, only Josie McDermott. And a wrong good time. Shane Kjol a hagan conquivda i the sacht nara luter and tave shot here. Ata tradition ella talked up sinar shot kama. Tradition is doi lums the kuig a vaim gomor a Josie McDermott. She shin tradition the marred a was Turlock or Carlan. In fact, there was good music around this area for as far back as so Carlan's time. There were there were good musicians, or we'll, we'll to go back to McDermott Road that taught O'Carlan, and then there was a family of Amelia's. And some of them were supposed to be at O'Carlan's funeral. Then there was a descendant of the Omelias, he was called Moodine Chalk. And his music passed down to a piper, McDermott Rowe, that got an awful lot of tunes from him. And uh, I met a few people that knew McDermott Rowe. My mother knew McDermott Rowe. He died about uh, 1890, I'd say. <laughs> We do will to knock a Josie Sakyol, as we found her a vague shemant agony. Kegro Shay told me Stakra, Augusty Stakra air. Kahorha, Snablinti Derek. 
after a few times after he met me, he, he sat down at home and he made a tape on his own time and explained about the tunes and what you should do and what you shouldn't do. And if he wasn't happy the first time he played on the tape, he'd say, now that's not good enough, Tommy, I'll do that again. He was always complaining that he smoked too much. He said, I haven't, my wind isn't that good, he says. I was good before wind there, now I'll try it again and I'll take more care the next time. His chest and his breathing was his problem. And he found that it was weakening him because the damage that was done, obviously, with the years of smoking. But he, his final, uh, he died in 1992 and he spent his last uh, two or three months in a nursing home in, in Boyle. It's quite a man who were journal, a classmate or Joseph McDermott. Vichy, it's an Oris Plunkett. I guess Vichy, uh, Vichy got diary log, be five mil and a Cree, I guess Rudy Marshain. The Quibble and Dush Mela Josie. Ara Josie, Nora Chucky and Tower, I guess Chain to Walla, I buy two cart. Ah, the Josie. Nearby me, I don't know Walla, Tomash. I guess V. Jora, I chat, she is on a sola. I guess Fekiman and Anrod Chain go minic. Nora Tommy. It is a good thing that I found mal August in the part of the four Josie. I am a good thing that I am a good thing that I am a good thing that his funeral was a testament to the esteem in which he was held. I mean, he, we couldn't get over it ourselves. Like, and, the amount of people that would have come to uh, to us afterwards, like talking about Josie, astounded me. Like, he, he was one of those special persons that come along in only once every generation or every couple of generations. I mean, he was he was just that special man. I mean, you must realise that Josie was never given a musical lesson in his life. He couldn't see music on a, on a sheet or anything, and he could play absolutely brilliantly, and his technique was unreal. Like. I mean, how many flute players, and your flute player yourself, will uh, have little nicks or of Josie's little tongue in or style? And of course, the Sla South Sligo style is, and North West Common style is very well respected in the musical tradition. She and Rod Asunshi Soidlam, Tataka Consulus, Ags Maya Munmukil Kurdia, Na Kegro Clue Agas Koiler, in a Christia, Kyotar Archul Abad Josie McDermott. Vishay frame her duct to fubble, owner Asker Shay, Ags we mass Ags almost a gun bubble shin air, more Kyotar Agas Morgan. Ags Marin Shay Fos in a mask, treat on Severus Morkyol, a dog Shay, or Iroch Ho. Honey Shay, Dina, or Tasangama, or Honey Dina Higa. Agascar uh, Olim Shidwai. Akvilian Vialandina Bajor uh, Fushi de Mark Gro Buona Akapayan. Buona on Hill, Lagus and Cass, Lagus Eller Machine, you know. Mm. You know, I shouldn't merge, you know, you know, I'll toss Agin the Dina Castle or Ripshire, Agsha, Agus and Clark Fiosha, if you want to, you know, Agay. Think the Glor Akap Shoot Bajor, Negor Honic Shields and Good Josie, Akar Honic Josie or I would say Josie as one of the last of that generation that you could call a bard an all-round musician. As a flute player, I think his, his influence was huge. I don't think he ever realised what an important influence he had, had on people. <laughs> ¶¶ 